Its deployment of Israeli warships across the Red Sea should be viewed as serious preparation for an attack on Iran. This according to an Israeli defense official quoted in today's edition of the Times of London. The official told the newspaper, quote, These maneuvers are a message to Iran that Israel will follow up on its threats. Earlier this week, two Israeli Navy Sa'ar 5 gunboats sailed openly through the Suez Canal and into the Red Sea. The Times also quotes Western diplomats as saying they have offered Israel support for a military strike against Iran's nuclear facilities in exchange for Israeli concessions in peace talks with the Palestinians, including the creation of a Palestinian state. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton also had a message for Tehran. Clinton said it's time for Iran to stop threatening its neighbors and end its support for terrorism. She stressed that Washington preferred dialogue, but would not hesitate to get tough if necessary. Our willingness to talk is not a sign of weakness to be exploited. We will not hesitate to defend our friends, our interests, and above all, our people vigorously and when necessary with the world's strongest military. This is not an option we seek, nor is it a threat. It is a promise to all Americans. A senior, a senior American diplomat, Fred Hoff, was in Damascus today for meetings with Syrian Foreign Minister Walid Mualim. The talks lasted for an hour and a half. Hoff refused to take journalist questions following the discussions. Before flying to Syria from Israel, he met with National Security Advisor Uzi Arad, Deputy Foreign Minister Danny Ayalon, in an attempt to renew peace talks between the two countries. The IDF Northern Command believes that in flagrant violation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701, Hezbollah has turned hundreds of homes in southern Lebanon into warehouses for storing short and medium range Katusha rockets. The Army has released video footage taken from an Israeli drone on Tuesday showing a home exploding in the village of Hirbet Selm, some 20 kilometers north of the Lebanese border. IDF ballistic experts said that dozens of holes in the roof are the size of 122 millimeter Katusha rockets. UNIFIL issued a statement calling the incident a serious violation of the UN resolution that ended the Second Lebanon War exactly three years ago.